I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to say right now, but here goes. Adrian, the problem, Broner. Adrian, about billions, Broner, has just started an OnlyFans account. What happened? What the... You know what happened to Adrian Broner. This guy was a four-weight champion. Billed as the next Floyd Mayweather Jr. The sky was the limit. He was on his way to become a superstar. I remember, was it in 2014, 2015 when Jay-Z entered boxing? And Jay-Z offered him a crazy amount of money. 50 million, 60 million. And he refused it. He says it's Trump change. Eddie Hearn offered him $6.5 million per fight. Later on, when he was basically a glorified journeyman, $6.5 million per fight. He said that's slave money. Now, he started an OnlyFans account at $50 a subscription. What's going on with Adrian Broner? This is just crazy. I have, I've never seen a boxer go like this. Obviously, we know about what Yusuf Mack did back in the day. And it was disgusting. But this this is just something else, man. He's selling himself. And obviously, I'm not going to subscribe to that channel. But if anyone does, let me know. Is, is he actually doing this retarded stuff? Or is he just conning people, having a prank they want to make money off? I'm hoping and praying it's a prank. I really am. Because this is sad to see a grown man in his mid-30s doing this. Really sad. You were at one point a really good boxer. Back in 2013, the Ring Magazine had you in the top 10 for half a pound. Yeah, we get it. You suffered a loss to Marcus Maidana. But after he suffered that loss, it seemed like Marcus Maidana took his soul. He could have won a lot of the fights he was in. Excuse me about that. Uh, yeah, Sean Porter, he dropped him in round 12. Probably could have won that fight if he started earlier. And I think the most hurt Sean Porter has ever been in his career was when Broner dropped him in round 12. From a single shot in his entire career, that was the most he was ever hurt. He has all the talent in the world, all the potential in the world. When he lets his hands go, He's incredible. Now he's making an OnlyFans account. This is disgusting. This is pathetic from Adrian Broner. And as I said, I hope it's a prank. And even if it is a prank, that's a scandal on its own. He's robbing the people. But really, anyone that wants to subscribe to that channel deserves to be robbed. In all honesty. He's 32 years old. July 28. He's coming off a very suspect win over Giovanni Santiago earlier in uh, 2021. Before that, he lost to Manny Pacquiao. Two-year layoff. Before that, he drew with Jesse Vargas. Before that, he lost to Mikey Garcia. Man, look at his record. You can make an argument he has on a fight. Even Adrian Garner's fight. A lot of people thought he lost that fight. So you can make an argument. Last time he won a fight was when he picked up the WBA Oh, uh, no, he no he lost on the weight. So, oh, last time he won a fight was in 2016. Man, what happened to Adrian Broner? Look, right now I'm just going to make a video. Just want to break the news to you guys. That's all this video is about. Expect sometime this week I will make a career review for Adrian Broner. Discussing what went wrong. If he goes through this OnlyFans account. Well, not, it's not if he is going through with it. His boxing career is done. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Sadiq Boxing out.